Hey everybody, my name is Felix. I'm a newly minted mechanical engineer from the University of Utah. I worked for six months as a hydronic engineer at a uh, local firm designing hydronic systems, uh, black water, uh, potable water, expansion systems, rooftop units, uh, air handlers, stuff like that. So HVAC and uh, ASHRAE stuff for large buildings, buildings at the university, uh, the local uh, Delta Hub uh, airport, uh, some courthouses, stuff like that, large buildings. Uh, 10 to 100,000 square foot buildings and larger, uh, but nothing small. Um, a couple years ago, uh, my, fiance and I, my fiance and I bought a fixer upper, a house that used to be my grandma's. My grandma moved to California. She sold us her beat up old, not up to code house for just an absolute pittance, which was fantastic. Um, but nothing in the house is newer than 1940s or so. Uh, we have an old, um, Furnace in the basement, all the electrical is cords, uh, cloth wrapped cords. Uh, the plumbing is terrible cast iron. Uh, there's some copper in there. We'd like to replace all of it with PEX. Our basement has uh, no plumbing in the subfloor. We'd like to add plumbing in the basement for floor drains so we could put a uh, bathroom in the basement, a kitchen, uh, other appliances. We'd like to also put a sewage ejector in the basement. Our water heater is about 12 years old. It's a six year unit, so we're going to need to replace that. Uh, we live, of course, in Utah in the Rocky Mountains, so we have very viciously hard water. Like, uh, uh, what do they uh, measure these in? I think it's a uh, stone. Uh, stones dissolved in water. Um, and my not knowing that is kind of the point of this whole project. I don't really know anything about renovating a home. But I'm smart, and Google exists, and I don't see any reason I shouldn't be able to figure this stuff out. Uh, so I'm going to start from scratch, knowing nothing, and I'm going to go to my local city code enforcement. I'm going to try and do everything above board, uh, especially for the dangerous stuff. I'm going to completely replace my natural gas system in my house. You don't want to chance it with stuff like that. Go to your local uh, code enforcement, get a permit, uh, have them check everything when you're done. You don't want to kill your family. Uh, do the same, you know, with the important stuff, with the plumbing, with the domestic cold water. Um, it doesn't cost a lot as far as I can tell. It doesn't seem like it's going to be much of a hassle. And it's good to just have everything checked. And then you know that one day when you go to sell your home, and of course when you buy or sell a house, the other party brings in, you know, uh, code people to make sure the house is up to code uh, to determine if they're, you know, getting a good deal on the house. And you really want to have your house be up to code so that when you sell your house, you can say to the new buyer that you're selling to, hey, everything's up to code, everything passed inspection. And that's really gonna help you. That's really gonna add to the value of your house. Uh, it's gonna make all your stuff last a lot longer. If you ever have to call on a plumber to install something you don't know how to do, everything they find will be up to code. They won't have any problems. They won't need to jury rig anything. So I think it's really worth that. So I'm going to teach myself what I need to know uh, as far as like plumbing code, and I'm gonna do everything myself. And if you want to hang in there with me, I'm going to make a series of videos where I teach myself natural gas stuff and I build it and I install it, I buy it all myself. As far as I can tell, I've gotten a few bids for the gas system and the water system, and that's what started this interest. They quoted me on the magnitude of two to $8,000 for every little subcomponent of this project. Uh, tinning in a new uh, central air system uh, is going to be a couple thousand dollars. I can easily do that for a couple hundred dollars. I just need to teach myself how. An actual gas system, $4,000. I think I can do that for a few hundred dollars. You know, plus my time, plus the permits, I think won't be even more than a hundred bucks. Uh, water heater, same thing, a couple thousand installed. I'm sure I can get a unit for, you know, five, six hundred. Uh, if you get an energy efficient model, your natural gas company, uh, your energy company, local energy company might give you a rebate. Um, I'm going to install a water softener. We're going to do that all myself. And by the end, I expect I'm going to save uh, $15,000, $20,000, $30,000, uh, which is equity added to our house um, if I can just do the stuff myself. And yeah, so come along, watch the videos, come along on the journey, give your feedback, watch what I do. Hopefully, um, just watching me go through this journey will teach you how to go through the journey yourself because there's not really a solution. There's not a one size fit all solution to this kind of thing. I watched a lot of videos on YouTube, kind of doing some homework in preparation for this. And people tell you how to do it in their city, in their state, what's up to their code. But 
code's different in every city and every state. Um, your house is going to be different. I'm going to need water softener. You might not. I'm going to need a water filter. You might not. Um, our code's going to be different on sizing um, as well as what pipes they use. I'm going to use black iron for the natural gas. You might use something different. Uh, so I think the process is the most important part, and that's what these videos are about, the process. Uh, and there's going to be a lot of stuff in the middle about um, the other things you need to make this project happen. Uh, the infrastructure. Uh, you'll need a truck to move appliances. Delivery fees on appliances are pretty huge. I think it's worth it to get a truck and move the stuff yourself. Uh, there's going to be a lot of other related infrastructure, and I'm going to comment on that stuff along the way too. Maybe do some product reviews of the appliances, of the tools I need to make this project happen, everything start to finish, no externalized costs, everything done myself. So yeah, uh, watch the videos, and uh, hopefully we'll both learn a lot together. So yeah, stay tuned.